raised garden beds come in all shapes and sizes and can be a great addition to the garden. There's loads of options with a wide range of costs and level of durability. So let's look at the basics. One big tick for raised garden beds is their ability to create excellent access to the produce growing, to other areas of the garden, and for people with mobility issues. Ensure your garden bed is positioned where you can get to it from all sides. Hardwood sleepers like these are reasonably durable, easy to work with, and moderate cost. Of course, you can build them up if you want extra height, and the timber can be dressed up if you're chasing a lovely finish. Now, ideally, source the timber as salvage timbers, or at least certified sustainable forestry timber. And always avoid treated hardwood railway sleepers because they are often toxic. Treated pine, which is a softwood, is lightweight, so it can be a good option for mobile beds. But keep in mind it's not as durable, and always ensure that the product does not contain arsenic before purchasing. Steel sheeting is a popular material for raised beds, and for good reason. The standard width of a sheet is about right if you're looking for easy access and you don't want to have to bend over. You can also buy pre-made ones, which come in all shapes and sizes, like these, which have a corrugated profile and a safety strip on top, so you don't have a sharp edge. Now, pre-made ones aren't cheap, but if you're looking for a really quick and easy option, then this is it. Of course, you can also make your own beds from second-hand steel sheeting to keep costs down. And they don't have to be fancy to be functional. Just be mindful that the edges can be sharp and steel will eventually corrode. At the upper end of the cost and durability spectrum are masonry walls, like these ones, which are made from two courses of brickwork with the cavity in between filled with concrete. Basically, they're bomb-proof. They've also been rendered and painted, so they look great. Now, these are expensive, but if it's what you're after and you want a really polished look, then these are the walls for you. Of course, you can make them yourself, cheaper, even using secondhand block work or bricks. But if you're mixing up mortar, make sure you keep it well away from your garden soil because it's very alkaline and it can be toxic to your plants. If you want to go even further with the recycling theme and even lower on the environmental impact, then how about making gabion walls filled with secondhand masonry rubble? Raised beds can also be used to make wicking beds and large pots old wine barrels and more unusual salvaged items can also make for great raised feature planters. Raised garden beds can be a fantastic, functional and attractive addition to your garden. Consider the pros and cons of the different materials before you get building and always look for safe and sustainable options. <laughs>